It takes over three billion years for our ancestor to evolve from a single cell to a foot-long armored fish. Now, our future looks bleak, but natural selection throws us a lifeline. Over millions of years, thousands of generations, our body adapts until we do something no fish has done before, breathe air. The air travels into a new organ, a lung. Take a breath and remember it's because a monster fish chased our ancestor into the stagnant water, forcing them to breathe air. We're in ichthyostega. We can breathe air or water, closing off our windpipe to switch between lungs and gills. Today, our gills are gone, but the mechanism remains, and sometimes it spasms, giving us the hiccups. 365 million years ago, we stick our head out of the water. There's a swamp behind us, paradise ahead. The choice is simple, but the consequences are immense. We pull ourselves out of the water and change the course of history. This is the moment we leave the water for a new life on land. But all this food comes at a price. The fierce sun dries out our skin. The hard terrain tears at our soft feet. Ichthyostega is a fish out of water. We dodged extinction in a stagnant swamp, only to slam straight into another deadly environment. Countless creatures perish, but natural selection helps our ancestor adapt. Thicker skin protects us from the sun. And tough claws that will one day become our fingernails help us move across the rough terrain until we're Casanaria. We've adapted to life on land, but our eggs haven't. They need a tough shell to stop them drying out in the sun. The problem is males can't fertilize an egg through a tough shell, but they can fertilize it before the shell forms, inside the female's body. Sex as we know it starts here. The result is a masterpiece of evolution, an egg in a tough shell with all the nutrients the embryo needs sealed inside. Sex is the best way to increase genetic variety and keep our species alive. Thanks to sex, 340 million years ago, Cassinaria becomes the first of our ancestors to live entirely on land. It's a new world, different from anything we've experienced up to now. We breathe air, support our own weight, and wrestle with an onslaught of new smells, sounds, sights. Bombarded with information, our brains evolve. We're smart, and we need to be. From that first creature to set foot on land, millions of species have evolved. More competitors mean less food to go round. A 
A mutation gives us bigger, more powerful jaw muscles. It's a critical advantage. We can eat more food, faster. And it shows. We're Veronops, a slab of pure meat-eating power. This little creature is a Proterosaurus, once a competitor, now he's prey. With Veronops for an ancestor, our success seems certain. But our story is a roller coaster ride, and there's a big dip coming. 